bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. I'm on location today in the Coyote Hills Regional Park, which is part of the East Bay Regional Parks District. Joining me now is Laisha Johnson and Tamara Schwartz. You're both from the Chabot, uh, Space, uh, Chabot Space and Science Center mm -hmm. and you are the Marketing and Sales Manager, right. Laisha, and Tamara, you are the Exhibitions Manager. Yep. For anybody who may not know about the Chabot Center, why don't you tell me a little bit about it, what it does? Well, first of all, Chabot is located off of Highway 13 in the Oakland Hills. That's the first thing we always want to make sure people know how to get to us. Um, second of all, we've been around for about 127 years. Uh, we've been at the current location, which is 10,000 Skyline Boulevard for the last 10 years. We are a science center that houses uh, two theaters, one planetarium, one megadome show. We offer school field trips. We offer adult classes we have our beautiful telescopes and um, we're a beautiful facility that's up there for kids and parents and everybody to learn about space and about science. how many people come through there every year we have about 150,000 people that make their wow. way through the center every year we we um, cater to about over 50,000 school field trips that come up and see the center we have 90 minute courses where we're uh, certified from the state of California to be able to teach classes on space and science well, it's a great resource for the Bay Area. Now, you're the exhibitions manager, so you have a new exhibition coming up? We do. We're opening the new exhibition, Bill Nye's Climate Lab, uh, in November. November 20th is the opening day. And this is a project that we've been working on for a long time. Uh, it's been about three years in development, and so we're very excited to see it open. What does it do? This exhibit is all about uh, climate change and making the science of climate change fun and accessible to a family audience. And uh, Bill Nye is sort of the, the, the host. Science guy. <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy. Um, it's been really fabulous working with Bill on this project. He's been involved really since uh, pretty close to the beginning. And Bill is, uh, he's both a, a, a wonderful science educator and he's very passionate about the issue of climate change. This is, um, you know, arguably one of the most important issues that we as a society face. Still one of those that's very controversial. If people come and see this exhibit, will they have an answer to the question of is there global warming or is there not? Well, there is very broad scientific consensus that, uh, that climate change is happening and that it's being caused by the, uh, the changes that are happening in the atmosphere as a result of human activities. So in our exhibit, that's really not a question. Um, there is, there's uh, pretty solid scientific evidence for that. And what we're focusing on in the exhibit is what we can all do about it. There's a lot that we can do, and a lot of people don't know that, um, or they're not sure what they can do. So we took this as an opportunity to really showcase all of the ways that we can make a difference in our day-to-day -day lives by making some, some small changes and then also uh, to educate people about some of the larger innovations and new technologies that are going to help us address the issue of climate change. Now, Laisha, along with the opening, there's some events coming up, some festivities. Oh, yes. You know, typically when we open up a new exhibition or a new show, we do it over a one day, come up and see it. Because of so much that's going on, it's going to be over the course of a weekend. So November 20th and 21st, we're inviting everybody to come up and see the exhibition, get a chance to, you know, um, see Bill Nye inside of the exhibition. He won't be there, but you'll be able to feel like he's there because it's so much going on. We have a, uh, a wind turbine, we have a hot air balloon, we have so much going on. And so this is a very interactive exhibit. Very interactive exhibit. There's like 30 different stations where people can be able to do things and voice their opinion and things of that sort. And also because we also have this beautiful center, we're gonna have five different labs where families can come up and learn everything from raising awareness and being a part of our action lab to building their own solar car and our solar lab to eating right in our Kids Go Green lab and learning how to do zero waste lunch and dinners and things like that. There'll be music and food and all sorts of things to really have the, the public come up and understand what climate change is all about. Well, it sounds exciting. Again, that's November 20th, 20th and 21st. 20th and 21st. Thank you both for being here to tell us about what's going on at the Chabot Space and Science Center. Thank, Thank you. you. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.